up, y'all? I'm digging Brit, and today we're gonna make chips and guacamole. Woohoo! Híjole! <laughs> that means yay in Spanish. I went to our local market and got yummy, awesome tortillas that the amazing, hermosa mujer, the beautiful lady, was making. So she made them fresh. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take it the next step and make them into tortilla chips. Everything's better fresh. I'm fresh. Okay, so first, so we're gonna make guacamole and a tomatillo salsa. And tomatillo salsa is not extremely complicated. You have to definitely put forth an effort into it. So um, they're beautiful. They look like little presents, like you open them up. It's kind of like digging, like when you're digging in the ground for like awesome relics. It's like, ooh, present. A tomatillo! I never would have thought! <laughs> Sorry, I'm a goober. Okay, so what you're gonna do with your tomatillos is we're gonna go ahead and blacken them or grill them up so they have like a little nice char on them. Because what we're gonna be doing is charring or grilling um, the ingredients or some of the ingredients for the tomatillo salsa. And then you put them in a blender, which is super easy. So if you're not like a chopper, or you're like, oh, too much effort or too much energy to go ahead and chop all those vegetables, that's okay. Your Vitamix will do it for you, or your blender. I'm gonna go ahead and use this little bowl right here for our trash. So I'm gonna take... Um, you know what, baby? I didn't really ask you. I love you, but you don't need to be talking. Lamy already had her lunch. She's just being ready. So if you hear any clippity cloppities or bleeding, like B-L-E-A-T-I-N-G, like meh, that's Lammy. She's lic that's licorice. And she's just being silly and running around in her onesie like a goober. So um, I apologize if that bothers you. Um, <laughs> Lammy needs to stay inside right now because I'm right here, honey. Lamb needs to stay inside for a little while longer because it still gets into the 30s at night and nobody likes to sleep in the 30s. That's not fun. So, you know, Lamb gets to sleep inside in her jammies. Duh. All Lammies need jammies. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> Sorry. So, I'm going to char my friends the tomatillos. They're really nice friends because they're so delicious. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put them on my grill pan which is amazing and awesome so i get that black char or grill marks those grill marks that i really want i'm gonna do that as well with some garlic and garlic is super fun to break so i'm gonna go ahead and break my garlic up and i'm gonna leave that skin on so that i you know so the garlic stays protected if you will from the grill a little bit there i'm gonna put my garlic on the pan here on my grill pan. So. I just like that flavor of that, you know, not not blackened, but just sort of like grilled. I'm gonna go ahead and start a guacamole while our awesome tomatillo salsa is getting all ready and sassy. Just look at those gorgeous grill marks, and it just it smells so delicious that the onion is just hello <laughs> the onion is happy it's like oh thanks for my warm hug there's gonna be so many amazing flavors in this so I started boiling up some corn for my guacamole it gives it kind of like an earthiness or like a just a little bit different of a texture in your guacamole and I know it might sound a little bit different but it really is delicious a little pop in your mouth which is always like so fun yeah you love fun things in my mouth I'm gonna keep an eye on my my uh, tomatillos over here. So go ahead and turn them over and give the other side a go so that he gets a turn. So now I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my vine ripened tomatoes. Um, you don't need to use vine ripened. You can use Roma tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. I actually sometimes even throw in the occasional heirloom tomato, which is super beautiful and gives it a slightly different taste. I'm gonna add some to it as well as the regular just to y'all what I'm talking about. Just keep eyeing my tomatillos and make sure that they're evenly getting grilled and charred on 
every side. So when I'm chopping my tomatoes, this is just a personal deal. Um, when I'm chopping tomatoes, I like to use a knife with a serrated edge, which is the like shark teeth. <laughs> For tomatoes, I just find it easier to use a serrated knife. If you don't sharpen your knives first and you're using a straight edge, especially when cutting something smooth like a tomato, it could be not so good. So go ahead and use a serrated knife if you have one. Um, that'd be good. Or if not, just be extremely careful. So, I mean, always. And I always like to tuck my fingers in when I'm cutting. <laughs> I don't know why I'm teaching y'all like I'm a mom, because I am a mom. But anyways, um, go ahead and tuck your fingers in and watch your little fingers so that you're not gonna cut your fingers off. There's no race. You don't have to hurry. Just take your time. Unless you're like a culinary expert and I don't know why you're watching my films. <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and just chop up my tomatoes here. And when I'm doing the end bits, I like to turn them over so that the flat side is on the cutting board just to make it a little less slippery. I mean, slippery is fun, but when you're chopping tomatoes, maybe not so much. So <laughs> you need to move, you need to, like this guy, he's the end bit, he's nice and slippery, but you wanna put the slippery side down and behave. I mean, what? Sorry, I was talking to myself. Um, <laughs> I even use my serrated knife when I cut Mr. Slippery. I love Mr. Slippery. <laughs> and some of y'all have asked me in my comments, hey, are you switching channels? Like, are you switching what you're doing? Hey, 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 hold up. It's digging Brit. I can do whatever I want, man. <laughs> you gotta love all of me. I mean, I have lots of different loves and lots of different things that I like to do. So I will definitely still dig and I will definitely keep on, keep it on with my art because that's just part of me. It's, you know, it's like breathing. So, um, you know, cooking is just another love of mine and I'm just sharing that with y'all. I just got such an amazing feedback from y'all that loved my cookie video. I don't know why, it's so weird. Anyways, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and teach y'all to make other things. Um, I've gotten lots of amazing requests. <laughs> so, yay. <laughs> so here are my friends, the heirloom tomatoes that I was so fondly speaking of. Heirloom tomatoes, Vanna, take it away. <laughs> so heirloom tomatoes are so delicious. They're like a tad bit sweeter in my opinion. And they're just, just like, they're art. They're just gorgeous, look at that. I mean, they're just red and purple and so colorful. It makes me wanna. The number you have dialed. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and ready to just these all. So I'm gonna take my little heirloom tomatoes just to give it a little splotch of color because um, it's so pretty and it looks so nice in your guacamole. I just really love authentic Mexican food. My great-great-grandma was Mexican and my great-great-grandpa was a cowboy. What? So pimp. Seriously, think about it. And her name was Jesusita. So anyways, they hooked up and they had freaking 10 babies. 10 babies. They didn't speak the mismo idioma. That means they didn't speak the same language. And they made 10 babies. What a slut. Just kidding, I love you, Grandma. <laughs> she would be so proud of me if she actually knew me and knew that I could speak Spanish. I know she would be really proud. So anyways, we're moving on and we're making salsa. Look at that gorgeous, it looks like a bruised something. Please note, the new number is... So anyways, watch your fingers. Make sure you get your fingers out of the way, y'all. Okay, so now I have some beautiful heirloom tomatoes and I also have some beautiful vine-ripened tomatoes. I think that when you use vine-ripened tomatoes, it just gives them that extra sweet, sort of kind of earthy or organic or whatever you want to call it, like flavor where they actually got to like hug onto their mommy a little bit longer, like, um, and then they, you know, they can ripen as they're on their vine in your kitchen. Look at you, you're getting all black and stuff. We've got nice char, 
marks and grill marks on most of our tomatillos over here. So I'm going to go ahead until I get that perfect amount on every corner because I'm a freak in more ways than one. <laughs> I like to use shallots when I'm making guacamole. Um, I think that shallots are predominantly used in, in French cooking, but um, I like using shallots because it doesn't give it like an insanely intense onion flavor. It's a little more mild. It's a little more subtle. I use shallots in my steak of war sauce when I'm making... Um, <laughs> Y'all are gonna laugh at me right now because I'm about to put on my onion goggles. <laughs> Can I? I'm putting on my onion goggles. All right, we're ready for liftoff. I like to mince my onions or my shallots if I have them. And the key to making good food is tasting as you go along. You go ahead and taste that. You stick your finger in that yumminess and you just taste it. You see what's up. So now I have my tomatillos with their beautiful grill marks. That charred that's on them. I'm gonna stick them in my mixer. Turn off the stove here. And this is for my roasted tomatillo salsa. So I have that going on now. And then I have my beautiful grilled onion that I'm going to go ahead and put over here and de-skin. So I left the skin on my garlic so that I could get that yummy roasted flavor but not have, you know, them overly done. I'm going to peel the skin off this bad boy. So I can get get to the inside part, which is the most awesome part. It's like taking off pants. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my garlic out of its little skin here. So I just kind of squish him a little bit with the side of the knife. No, Danny. So now. I have my charred onion and my charred tomatillos in my blender. Now, if you like your salsa a little bit more on the spicy side, and you may want to chop up some jalapenos right quick, or at least one. If you want um, to get that jalapeno flavor without like the crazy amount of heat that a jalapeno can actually spit out, so if you don't want all that heat, um, you can omit some of the seeds or leave the seeds out. I like big, awesome, spicy, robust flavors in my mouth, in my, yep. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on my blender and I'm going to pulse it, which means it just kind of like goes on for a second until you let go of your pulse button, if you have this option on your blender. So when I was a young lassie, and I was about 20 years old, one time, I stuck a spoon in the blender when I, <laughs> when I was putting the black blender on, and it was really funny. And I was actually helping a friend recover from like, getting her tonsils taken out, and we laughed so hard, and she was not supposed to laugh, so good time. Whenever I turn on the blender, I remember that. So I'm going to go ahead and taste it right now, make sure it cools off a little bit. It's super yummy, but it definitely needs salt, pepper, and lime juice. What does it need lime juice, you know? Guys, men, you might need some pineapple juice, I mean lime juice, in your, I mean, trying to say. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take some limes and cut them in half and slice them in half. So I'm going to use my handy dandy lemon squeezy because squeezing things is so fun, isn't it? I love squeezing things. So I'm going to go ahead and take my squeezer. 
It's really called a juicer or something, but here we go. I'm gonna try one lime. I'm gonna squeeze one lime in there. I like salty, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some kosher salt in there and some freshly ground pepper because everybody loves spice. Let's see that. Let's give it another swirl. Some bitch made this for me. That does come out. <laughs> I might take them on a second date. <laughs> when I take my pit out of my avocado, I like to stab it. So I like to slice into my avocado and while it's in the skin still, I kind of like give it a little grid or black paper kind of sort of scenario and then scoop it with a spoon. I'm gonna go ahead and use all of the avocados that we have so that I can make a ton of guacamole. If you put the guacamole in an airtight container, it'll pretty much last for a pretty good long time. And if you're cutting them like I am, don't get all crazy and like push too hard because everyone likes fingers or having fingers, right? Fingers are so useful in so many different things. So now I have my beautiful green avocados. It's like a lovely, festival, a fiesta of loveliness. And remember, guacamole is a beautiful, delicious dish from Mexico. Right, Rosie? Guacamole is de Mexico, original? Creo que si. That means she thinks so. <laughs> so, and just make sure it's nice and it's nice. It's like chopped and delicious looking and guacamole-ish. Now, I've made a, I put a lot of avocados in here. I think we had five. So I'm gonna take my gorgeous heirloom tomatoes and ooh, just gonna dance on the top there. I'm gonna take some of my shallots. It's just so fresh. All the ingredients are fresh and delicious. And now buying store-bought is fine and dandy if that's your gig. So now I'm gonna take my secret ingredient I'm gonna go ahead and take my corn that I've boiled in a pot and I'm gonna carefully delicately like a bowl in a china shop. So I'm gonna take my corn, it's all nice and warm. And today's the, the day of warm foods that are delicious and freshly cooked. <laughs> We're gonna take our jalapeno, our jalapeno for our guacamole, and we're going to slice and dice up this monster. So I'm gonna chop up these guys in a pretty nice, almost minced chop. <laughs> I have a line waiting for my food right now. <laughs> Literally watching this cooking show right here. <laughs> Their mouths are drilling and their hands are rubbing together, so better pick up the pace. Okay. So I have my alapeño right here, all beautiful with all of his pepitas, which are seeds. And stir him up all beautiful. We're gonna add our cilantro and our lime, our limon verde. See, it's like that. Now we take our fresh cilantro. And I always like more because <laughs> bigger is better. <laughs> You're making mucho ruido. You're making a lot of noise in your shopping block. Okay, so I'm gonna throw some of him in here, a little, little dance there on that guy. Stir him up. And now I'm gonna put some poquito jugo de limon verde, a little bit of uh, lime juice in this bad boy. Squeeze a little fresh lime juice on there. I'm such a pimp with my aim. So now, we have all our beautiful, colorful ingredients that 
marry so lovely together in this delicious Mexican treat. <laughs> I'm gonna put kosher salt. It's got a much more salty, yummy flavor. I put a lot in there because I'm a salty girl. I like salty stuff. And a little bit of freshly ground pepper. Give it a little swirl again. And y'all don't forget, stick your finger in it <laughs> and taste it. Make sure that all the flavors are there. You got enough lime juice, you got enough cilantro, you got enough salt, freshly ground pepper. Store bought's great, hip and puree, but um, homemade fresh guacamole with all the fresh ingredients and just all the love. So delicious. Let's move him into this beautiful clean fresh bowl so he looks even more appetizing. So now, drum roll please. Tortilla chips! Yee! Eagle A! Here we go! So now I'm gonna take these gorgeous tortillas. I have my vegetable oil sitting in a hot pan on the stove and it is waiting for us to add the guests to the pate. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cut my tortillas like big old chips because they need to be big. Big is better. When you're talking about tortilla chips and other things. Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, cutting my little tortilla chips there and then I'm gonna get a plate. So I have my plate with my paper towels on it waiting for their friends, the tortilla chips because we're gonna take our tortilla strips that we just cut and I'm gonna put them into our vegetable oil that's been sitting here in this pan waiting for their friends for the fiesta. I'm gonna go ahead and drop them in. You can see that fun little bubbles. This makes you feel like you're at a party already. Everybody's ready for the guacamole and tomatillo salsa party. Woohoo, híjole! Here we go. I'm gonna take my little tongs and turn them over once. Make sure that everybody's got their side all snugly and goldeny brown. Place them on this paper towel here. And just let them dry. So for kicks and giggles, I'm gonna go ahead and use some spike on these chips. Gives it a little extra pizzazz. <laughs> a little extra sparkle there. Um, my sister-in-law taught me that little trick right there. <laughs> I like to go rather quickly because I know everyone's waiting for my tortilla chips, so I'm just gonna go ahead and layer the paper towels to kind of get the extra oil out of the tortilla chips. Look at it, it's like a little party in there. They're like, Listo para eso, mis amigos. Oh my gosh, that means ready for this, my friends. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Here we go. First, we're gonna taste the guacamole. Oh my word. All right, girls. If there are any girls watching out there and you want someone to pop the question, this is the ticket right here. Holy smokes, that is so good. So delicious, fresh flavors. Oh, just amazing. Now we're gonna try the tomatillo salsa. Oh my word, I would ask this bitch to marry me. <laughs> I would definitely ask this girl on the second and the third date and I'd hope that she'd say yes. <laughs> this is so freaking good. It's just tangy from the lime and slightly smoky flavor from the charred or grilled tomatillos and onions and garlic. I think everyone's gonna be super happy, y'all. <laughs> so it was super fun making guacamole, chips, and tomatillo salsa for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all wanna brave it and try it, it's not that hard and it's super yummy, so worth it. If you want me to make something specific, go ahead and hit me up in the comments. 
See you next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Tomatillo salsa, so. Oh my God. Okay, tell me when I'm ready. <laughs> Vegetable oil. Oh God. So now I'm gonna taste the tomatillo salsa. <laughs> Epic fail. <laughs> I can do lots of things. I don't know what to say. Cause sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, so I hope y'all like my video about what do I say? Are you grabbing your? F Everything's better fresh. I'm fresh. I'm fresh. I'm fresh. I'm fresh.